habitable part of his earth and my delights were with the sons of men okay so now at this point you got um you know king solomon speaking through the spirit you know of knowing uh that he was the first uh spirit created in the first uh creature created upon the face of the earth all right so he said what i was rejoicing in the habitable part of his earth somewhere had something habitable that's a place where you can live at so he was speaking through the spirit of his first reincarnation okay uh, his first carnation his first time being put upon the earth in the flesh speaking uh, in reference to him as being adam okay because he was rejoicing in the habitable part of his earth and his light was with the sons of men okay so he was rejoicing when he was adam okay and then you had what the sons of men that were around as well okay so you had his chosen line through the adamites and you know the sons of god and you had the sons of men and and, and so on and so forth around the well at that time because we know that the scriptures speak upon uh the sons of god uh the children of men and the children of the wicked okay so this is what the lord was talking about he was referring to himself okay in this 31st verse as uh as adam okay so um further um yeah to get into that um yeah all right this is um ezekiel chapter uh 31 and uh start at verse 3 now this is all uh symbolic talk here uh what we're going to get into all right and it's speaking on um you know adam and the other nations you know during uh the beginning times of creation so on and so forth okay so uh this is ezekiel 31 and 3 and it says uh behold the assyrian was a cedar in lebanon with fair branches okay and this is speaking upon uh basically adam all right uh, or in other words you know what i mean yahweh shai his first carnation his first time coming upon the face of the earth as adam okay um hope i'm not confusing you brothers all right uh behold the assyrian uh you know adam was a cedar in lebanon with fair branches okay if you're a tree and you have branches the trees the the, the the branches represents your children so this is referring to him and his children all right you know like you have what a family tree when you see like you know uh jake had the pictures or you may have it on the back of your shirt you know when you go to a family reunion you'll see the tree i mean where the lineage started in the branches you know that's the further generations okay and with a shadowing shroud of an high stature and his top was among the thick bowls so this is getting to you know basically well it, it, it expounds on it more in the uh, next verse so i'll just read the next verse right uh, Zeke, uh verse four the waters uh made him great the deep set up, up on high it's like it the deep set him up on high with her rivers running round about his plants and sent out her little rivers unto all the trees of the field so when they talk about uh, uh his top was among the thick bowls and uh, all the trees that filled this is a symbolic for what the other represented the other nations all right so he was what above all other nations okay adam and uh his children they were above all other nations in the beginning all right so i'm gonna read this again the waters made him great you know the waters represents uh multiple things we know when we get into revelation 17 and 15 the waters represents the different nations but in this case the waters represents the knowledge the understanding and the wisdom of yahweh bashim yahweh shai because according to uh john um 7 38 it says what uh he that believe upon me as the scripture have said out of his river out of his uh belly shall flow rivers of living water so that represents what the knowledge the most high filling you up with his knowledge the understanding and his wisdom okay so the waters made him great meaning the knowledge that he had from the most high made him great okay the, the deep set him up on high with her rivers running round about his plants and sent out her little rivers unto all the trees of the field okay so if you have uh, a body of water okay because it said what the, the waters made him great so adam's knowledge was compared to a great body of water all right just say uh, oceans just say that for instance the atlantic ocean all right now oceans a great body of water breaks down into lakes rivers and streams okay so when it broke down into lakes rivers and streams uh it sent out it was sent out unto all the other nations okay his knowledge his wisdom his understanding was sent out to all other nations through him first and foremost and through his children so 
So all other nations learn under Adam and his ch and his children. Okay, his chosen line, the Adamites. Okay, the sons of God. All right. So um, read on verse five. Therefore his height, his height is represented as his knowledge. All right. Therefore his height was exalted above all the trees of the field. His knowledge was higher than all the other nations upon the face of the earth at that time. All right. And his bowls were multiplied. All right. Uh, his children were multiplied, and uh, his branches became long because of the multitude of waters. Okay, when he shot forth, verse six, all the fowls of heaven. Okay, this is symbolic once again for the other nations. All the fowls of heaven made their nests in his bowls, and under his branches and under his children did all the beasts of the field bring forth their young. Okay. All the beasts of the field, because uh, I'm going to get the preset real quick. Uh, Psalms 49 and 20. Just to show you that uh, in the beast is talking about the other nations. Man that is in honor and understandeth not is like the beast that perished. So the other nations, they didn't have the same knowledge, the understanding, and the wisdom as the Most High. And just to show you how the Most High compares uh, a man or, or men unto beasts. All right. So. Uh, where was I at? Uh, Slakia. <clears throat> uh, okay, even Slakia, verse 6. Okay, all the fowls of heaven, the other nations, made their nests in his bowls, and under their branches did all the beasts of the field bring forth their young, and under his shadow dwelt all great nations. Okay, so, what well, all the other nations, they brought their young to learn from uh, Adam's children. Okay, under his chosen uh, seed. Okay, and under his shadow dwell all great nations. So if you're under the shadow of someone, you're under someone's tutelage. You're under, you're under a teacher. Okay. Now us men, you know, doing this work and and truth, honesty, faith, hope, love, sincerity, you know, through the spirit of your Bashmi Yahweh Shai, we're under the shadow or we're under the tutelage of the apostles of GMS, uh, of Great Millstone, because they were anointed by your Bashmi Yahweh Shai to teach the nation. Okay, so we're under their shadow. Okay, so just how we're under their shadow through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, the other nations they were under the, the the shadow of Adam and his children. Okay, uh, verse seven. Uh, Thus was he fair in his greatness and in length of his branches, meaning his children. All right, many children, for his root was by great waters. You know, he was deeply rooted in in, in great knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. Okay. Because it was given to him by the Most High, all right. Um, verse eight. Thus, uh, the cedars in the garden of the Most High could not hide them. I'm talking about the cedars of the garden of the Most High. That's representing the other nations. The other nations could not hide them, okay? Because uh, you know when Adam had one off, he tried to hide amongst the other nations, all right. So to prove that, okay, we got Job thirty-one and thirty-three. If I covered my transgressions as Adam by hiding my iniquity in my bosom. So Adam tried to hide up his transgressions from the Most High when he tried to run, run amongst the other nations. Okay? And um, this other script proves it as well. Uh, further proves it. All right? Genesis 3 and 7. And the eyes of them both were opened. Okay? Adam and Eve. And they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. Okay? So this is symbolic for what? Them trying to cover up their sin. Going back to that uh, Job 31 and 33, all right? Uh, verse 8, And they heard the voice of the Lord power walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord power amongst the trees of the garden. Okay? So that proves the point in going back to what the trees of the garden represents the other nations. Because it said what? They tried to hide themselves amongst the other trees of the garden. All right? Going back into... Uh, this point right here, verse 8. The cedars in the garden of the Mosa could not hide them. The other nations couldn't hide them. Why is that? All right. The fir trees were not like his bowls, and the chestnut trees were not like his branches, nor any tree in the garden of the Mosa was like unto him in his beauty. So what? The other nations couldn't hide them for his children because they were much brighter, okay, than the other nations. Like, say, for instance, uh, because they were known, you know what I'm saying, uh, for their, their knowledge, their understanding, and their wisdom. So just say, for instance, right, you know, in a crowd full of people, 
you have like a famous football player, something like a, a Tony Romo or a Mike Vick or somebody, you know, you throw them in a crowd of people, they're going to stick out like a sore thumb, okay, because there's something about them that stands out. They're famous for what? They're playing football or, or them being great in, in that attribute, okay, or, or that field. So in the field of knowledge, of great knowledge, understanding the wisdom, Adam and his and his children excelled in that. So they couldn't hide amongst the, the other nations as far as that, okay? Because you have someone famous or someone that's known for something great. Uh, flocks of people are going to draw to them so they would draw attention to themselves naturally, okay? So that's why they couldn't hide amongst the other nations because they would naturally draw attraction and they uh, stood, above, stood out above all other na nations and all other people because they were so great in knowledge, understanding, and wisdom, all right? Uh, verse 9, I have made him fair by the multitude of his branches. 